Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let us all welcome our special guest for today, Mr. Dominic Calderon, as a representative for her co-author, Miss Elizabeth George Spear, for their book, The Sign of the Beaver. Thank you very much for that introduction, Mr. Bill De Borja. So hello everyone, my name is Dominic Calderon, the co-author of the book, The Sign of the Beaver. So let me give the background of the author, which is George, I mean Elizabeth George Spear. So she is an American writer of children's book, best known for historical novels so such as this. This book has this uh, incorporation of historical context. Now, this is not fiction, but the, the real history of what is happening in this setting. So, Elizabeth George Spear has four books. No one is Calico Captive. Second is The Witch of Blackbird Pond. Third is The Bronze Bow. The fourth is The Sign of the Beaver. So, two of her novels won the Newberry Award. No? The two, which is The Witch of the Blackbird Pond and The Bronze Bow. This novel won three three awards. The one is the Newberry Honor Award and the second is Scott O'Dell Award for Historical Fiction and the Christopher Award. So this is published in February 1983. She has been called one of America's 100 most popular writers for children books. Some of her work has become mandatory reading in many schools throughout the nations. So throughout America, so this is because her books have sold as well. Any, this is a bestseller. No, she is cited as one of the Educational Paperback Association's top 100 authors. Imagine that top 100 authors. She had received an award as the most distinguished contributors to American literature for children. She also had received an award in 1989, uh, the Laura Ingalls Wilder Medal for her contributions to American children's literature. So that's all. Thank you. Any other questions? Now, may I ask, who are the characters in this story and what are their roles? So, thank you for that question, Mr. Bill DeBoer. So, your question is, who are the characters in the story and what are their roles? As I will describe the characters, you will get the glimpse, the clips of the summary of the story. So, first is the main character is Matt Hallowell. So, this character is eventually faced with the decision of going with the Indians to find a suitable hunting ground or staying alone in the while he wait for his family's whose arrival is questionable because in this story matt's father uh said to matt that wait for us in six months uh, we will come back for you no so they will transfer from home from another house father will just fetch uh his mother and his siblings and will go back after six months in this jungle where matt is asked to be stayed. This is the main protagonist, Matt Hallowell. So next is Matt's father. So this character builds a cabin in the newly created main territory where he hopes by his family with a new life. So they will transfer from one house to another. He promises Matt that they, no, uh, Matt's father including the mother and Matt's two siblings, they will come back after six months. No. They promised Matt about that. So he had given Matt a rifle as a protection against wild animals or against anything that will harm Matt. The next character is Ben. So this character is trusted but is proven to be a thief. So why thief? No, He stole the rifle from Matt given to his father. The only protection of Matt is the gun, the rifle, is being robbed, robbed by Ben. No? So Ben is trusted by Matt but Ben just stole, stole from Matt. Sackness, this character is a wise leader who realizes that he and his people have to adopt, survive. He is an Indian leader from the Indian tribe, the leader of the Indians. <laughs> so he uh, he saved Matt from harm because Matt has this kind of scarcity in food. So while he was searching for a food, he saw a what? A beehive, you know, a beehive. When he saw the beehive, the instinct, you no, know, his instinct because he was hungry, is to get honey from the hive. So when Matt tries to get honey from the hive, being chased by the bees, by the angry bees, you no, know, the buzzing bees. You no, know? so Matt decided to be under 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 the sea <laughs> decided to swim in the ocean swim in the the lake to run away from the bees and while he is in the water he is being drowned he's being drowned because it is it is deep <laughs> so what sadness did is he saved matt 
next character is Tian. Tian is the grandson of Agnes. It belongs to the to the Indian tribe. So this character is killed in the ways of living in the wilderness. So there is the there is this conflict between Tian, no, and Matt. After Matt being saved by Sackness, Sackness asked Matt to join them temporarily and asked Matt to teach Atinian on how to read English. No, so there is this conflict between Atinian and Matt because they differ in culture and tradition. So this is the main character. So I already discussed the main characters of the story, The Sign of the Beaver. Mr. Dominic, if I may ask, what is the title of your novel and what is all about? Okay, thank you very much for that question, Mr. Bill de Borja. So let me just rephrase your question. What is your novel and what is it all about? So I'm just going to discuss the setting and the themes of the story, which I will just incorporate the moral values and the analysis of this novel, The Sign of the Beaver. So first of all, setting. The, the setting is located at Maine, Maine, Massachusetts, in the United States, during 1768. So during this historical time, as I said earlier, there is this incorporation of history in this novel of the novels of Elizabeth George Spear. So during the time, during the setting of these novels, there is this kind of discrimination among cultures. Discrimination among the Indians and the white people. Indians which hates the white people and vice versa. So in this story, we can see that we can see the history. Discrimination across cultures also happened during the era in 1768, not only in this novel, but happens in real life. You can see that this is this is a historical novel. So next, we'll describe or uh, dissect the themes in this story. So first, the theme that I've seen in this story is the theme of prejudice. We can just see in the story that Matt didn't uh, judge what they call this uh, judge Athenian despite of the differences in their culture and vice versa. Athenian also do not judge that based on his culture. That you should know. You should know the people, you should know more about the people, not to judge the people, but to know them. This is the theme, the moral of the story. You can see in the story the significance of not being judgmental, being logical. No? So next is isolation. Though Matt considered himself pretty good at being alone, after his father walked out of sight, he realized that isolation isn't always all it's cracked up to be. Of the most... A common perspective in isolation is being alone. The truth is being alone now lets you discover things, have this adventure that can be used in your life. Saying goes, we learn from our experience. The next theme is friendship. As I've stated earlier in the theme of prejudice, despite of Matt and Athenian having two, two differences in culture, and despite this status in the society in 1768 there is the status of discrimination it doesn't hinders them it doesn't hinder them to become friends hello everyone so now this ends our question and answer portion now don't forget to avail the copy of the sign of the beaver which is authored by elizabeth george spear and co-authored by me your truly dominic calderon so now once again Thank you everyone for viewing my analysis of The Sign of the Beaver by Elizabeth George Spear. Bye everyone!